Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. My channel will cover Azure, <coughs> Office 365 and Azure, um, Configuration Manager or SCCM, and anything related to Office application deployment, software deployment, operating system deployment, using Windows 10, USMT migration. Let's got it. Let's get started. So let's download the ID. Um, I'm sorry, the um, AD Connect tools. Type in, just type in download AD Connect. Just type in AD Connect. So it should be this one. Download Microsoft Azure Active Directory Connect. You want to make sure you download the latest versions. Let's look at details. Um, it's pretty recent. It's 1.270. Let's download that. Looks like I downloaded it before. Um, that's probably the older version. Here it goes. So I'm going to set up the AD Connect password hash sync in this video. And my next video, I'm going to do the AD Connect sync by using path through authentication. So there's three methods. There's a password hash sync, there's a path through authentication, and ADFS. If you have ADFS environment, you can configure AD Connect to work with your ADFS farm. And if you want to take, uh, if you want to use features similar to ADFS, but you don't have ADFS infrastructure, you can do AD Connect Sync using password uh, PTA, which is path through authentication. So, but in this video, I'm just going to do password hash sync only. Let's double click on this one or click on install. All right, as you can see, it added an icon it's called Azure AD Connect. Agree to license and terms. Click next. You want to do customize. You don't want to do express. Um, there's a, just click on customize. You can specify the installation location or you can enable use existing SQL Server. So if you have objects, your on-prem active, um, active Directory objects that are over 100,000, Microsoft recommend that you install a SQL Server. You know, if you plan to sync anything, um, any identity that are less than 100,000 and then you don't need um, SQL Server. So if you're in a small, small company and you don't have a lot of um, IDs to be sync, you know, in other words, if you have less than a thousand, then you'll be fine. You can specify custom location, use SQL Server, use pre-existing service account. 
and you can specify custom sync groups. If you want to sync just the groups only from your on-prem exit directory, you can specify that here. So let's go ahead and click on install. It's going to install SQL Server Express. Right, it's going to take a while here. Installing synchronization service. Yep, it can take a while. Um, hopefully it's going to be done in a few minutes. All right, come on.
So with the password hash sync, it does not sync. Um, it is it is very safe. It it's it's sync your password uh, with the um, um, to Azure. It's not the real um, what do you call it? it's it's just a hash of the password. It's not a real actual password. So it is very secure according to Microsoft. All right, so look like Microsoft just added the a new um, method it's called Federation with Pink Federation. All right, so now let's focus on password hash sync. I'm going to make sure that is checked and the enable single sign on. So select this option to enable single sign on for your corporate desktop users. If you want to read more information about it, just click on this and learn more. Let's go with that and click next. All right, put in your global administrator account. Click next. Active Directory, I want to make sure I'm going to add this one. Click on Add Directory. I'm going to use the existing domain admin account. 0365 Tech Guy. Password. Click OK. As you can see, it's green. I mean, it's um, you can proceed forward. Click next. All right, so everything looks good. User principal name, you want to make sure that is on by default. Let's see if there's any errors here. Um, that's just information. So you want to make sure you click on continue without matching all UPN suffix and verify domains. That's fine. And click next. So right here, if you want just to limit to a certain OU, you can on select um, domains and OUs. First of all, you need to deselect all or deselect the top and then select the OU you want to sync. For example, use the OU. But in this case, I'm going to sync everything. I click next. Users are represented only once across all domain, all directories. That's fine. Let Azure manage the source anchor. Or you can choose specify the source anchor. Object GUID most likely. I'm going to let Azure manage the source anchor. If you want more information, click on this and then click on learn more. Click next. 
as you can see, uh, Azure is currently sync using value objective attribute for your on-prems. So by default, it choose the object GUID. Click next. Filter user and devices for pilot deployment, specify groups and containing users and devices in the agenda as the groups are not supported. So if you want to sync all user and devices, go ahead and check that as the, by default. Click next. Password hash sync. If you have exchange in your environment, you want to make sure you check exchange hybrid deployment. Exchange mail public folder. Azure AD, Azure AD APP attribute. Um, not sure what that is. That's pretty new. So I'm not going to check that one. Device uh, password write back. I can't enable password write back if I have. <coughs> If I enable the um, password by back in Azure, I'm going to leave this unchecked for now. Device right back is disable directory extension attribute sync. That's the extension um, for the AD Connect sync. So that's it. I'm going to click next. Oops. Sing a sign on, enter the credentials. Put in the domain account. All right, next. Once I click start the sync, it's going to process the synchronization. And if you don't want it to sync right away, you want to make sure everything is configured correctly first. You can just uncheck this and then check this box. And in this case, I'm going to start synchronization right away. So this will take a few minutes. Um, that's it. That's all you need to do. Once it uh, complete, all your identity should be seen in less than 30 minutes. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.